Hi and welcome back to our Visa video series. Today I want to give you an insight in the language switching and multi-language support features in the CodeSys visualization. There are special objects in our visualization for this purpose called text lists of which you can create as many as you want in your project. When we take a closer look at such an object, we see that they consist of several columns, one for the ID as a referencing tool of the entries, one for the default language, and then any number of additional columns for the desired languages. On top of these normal text lists, there are also global text lists. These global text lists contain all text elements out of all visualization elements. So, if we create a new visual element and enter, for example, hello world in the text input, then we will see that an entry in the global text list gets automatically created with a newly generated ID for referencing and we could now easily fill up the text for our other languages. So now if we are currently working on a text list, we have the option for different commands, like for example, the removal of unused text list entries, which deletes all entries that aren't referenced in the project. We can also use an import export function. And if we export this global text list right here, then a text list file is created, which then can be freely edited, for example, externally by something like a translation agency. And afterwards, you can again import the file using the same tool. But how can we actually integrate a language switcher into our visualization? One option, for example, is to define a change language action upon input on an element. Another option, which we chose in the demo project as well, because we think it is a smart and user-friendly way to implement the language switcher, is to use an array combo box. An array with different languages is defined and also an integer variable gets created, over which we will later choose the languages in the combo box. Now, if a change of languages is requested over the combo box, a specific piece of structured um, text code gets ex executed in which we specify that the depicted language changes to the one that is linked to the connected array entry. Well, and that's already it for today. I hope you got an overview of the possibilities the CodeSys visualization offers for language switching. In the next video, we will take a look at the implementation of HTML5 controls and codes. And until then, have fun visualizing. Bye.